Welcome to the Hard Dollar Self Pace Training Master Resource Rates lesson. This lesson will provide you with a basic overview of setting up the master resource rates in the library. We will cover the following tabs in this lesson installed equipment, supplies, and unique resources. When new job folders are created, you will have the ability to specify the master resource rates that you want to have copied into the new job. This section will demonstrate how to create an installed equipment master resource in the library. When new job folders are created, you will have the ability to specify the master resource rates that you want to have copied into the new job. The Master Resource Rate Register Installed Equipment form is used to create or modify the rate charged for the installation of an individual installed equipment resource of a certain class. Each resource represents a single class of installed equipment, for example, material storage tanks, and consists of a code, description, and a set of rate elements that together value the rate for example, $100 per cubic yard. Each installed equipment resource can be assigned two different tax rates. Also, each installed equipment resource can be assigned a quote group tag to help in the administration of quote management. Once again, quote management will be discussed in a later module. Each installed equipment resource can be assigned a minority participation allowance so that if it is awarded to a minority company, a share of its total value will contribute to the minority participation goal set for the job by its owner. To create a new installed equipment resource, click on the small green burst located toward the left top corner of the resource register. The first thing we will do is enter a code and description for our new installed equipment resource. Next, we will click on the Setup tab. For our example, we will set the resource file, organizational category, and default quantity. Now we will go to the Charge Rates tab. We will expand the Materials Cost category and enter a cost for this installed equipment resource of $125,985 each. Next, we will click OK to close the installed equipment rate record. This section will demonstrate how to create a Supplies Master Resource in the library. When new job folders are created, you will have the ability to specify the master resource rates that you want to have copied into the new job. The Master Resource Rate Register Supplies form is used to create or modify the rate charged for the employment of an individual construction supply resource of a certain class. Supplies rates are used to separate expendable supply resource costs from permanent material resource costs in the job's cost breakdown structure. Each supplies resource can be assigned two different tax rates. Each supplies resource can be assigned a minority participation allowance so that if it is awarded to a minority company, a share of its total value will contribute to the minority participation goals set for the job by its owner. To create a new supplies resource, click on the small green burst located toward the top left corner of the resource register. First, we will enter a code description, and set the unit of measure to ton. The code for our new supplies resource will be SSTA, and the description will be small tools for asphalt. Next, we will expand the supplies cost category, and we will enter a cost of $1 for tools for each ton of asphalt. Notice that the total cost is $1.05 due to the tax rate of 5%. Next, we will click the OK button to close the supply rate record. This section will demonstrate how to create a unique master resource in the library. When new job folders are created, you will have the ability to specify the master resource rates that you want to have copied into the new job. The Master Resource Rate Register Unique form is used to create or modify a charge rate for an individual unique resource. Use them to charge the custom cost category so as to avoid corrupting the labor, owned construction equipment, rented construction equipment, installed material, installed equipment, construction supply, or subcontract cost categories. In effect, isolating some unique charge to the job. For example, you may want to isolate dump fees or hauling from other costs or you can use them to charge for more than one cost category at a time 
when a resource is utilized. For example, by creating a unique resource for hauling services by hauler A, you can charge both the subcontract and the tax cost categories for a single resource. Or you can use them to spread a subcontract throughout a job's cost breakdown structure, or use them to charge for labor, own construction equipment, or rented construction equipment resources on a non-hourly basis. To create a new unique resource, click on the small green burst located toward the top left corner of the resource register. Now we will enter a code, description, and unit of measure for our new unique resource. The new unique resource will be a crane by the month. The code will be UCRANE, and the unit of measure will be month. Next, we will enter $1,500 in the labor cost category and $15,000 in the owned equipment category. We will leave all the awarded costs for this resource assigned to the undefined cost category. Now we will click the OK button to close the unique rate record. We will add the organizational category from the register view by clicking in the cell below the organizational category. We will select Crane from the drop-down list. Congratulations, you have just completed the lesson. This lesson covered the following topics. Setting up master resource rates in the library for installed equipment, supplies, and unique resources.